And to someone who doesn't ask for mere food or drink when he plays on stage, he just wants 300 weight of iron pumping for the uses of and the mother-crushing respect of his audience. Me and Henry Rollins in a gymnasium somewhere in West London. Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Rollins. I'm so goddamn mean. <laughs> I punched his teeth through his, the side of his face. From his days in punk rock group Black Flag to the present with his sweaty, full throttle rock music, Henry Rollins has always been obsessed with physical fitness and mental strength. Intense in both performance and conversation, Rollins takes no drugs, no alcohol, and no prisoners. We seem to have this horror of weakness. Mm -hmm. Weakness is, makes all the bad things in the world happen. Hatred that binds you, blinds you. People who in positions of power who are weak use force instead of power. Force is the weak man's version of power, I think. And I think there's something about going in and pushing your body to a limit that adds a spiritual strength to you that you cannot get any other way. And if you worked out, then you'd go, I agree. I'm not a tough guy. I'm not trying to come off like I'm some kind of tough guy. I'm not, you know, I'm not into fighting and all that stuff. I gave that up when I was, you know, 20 something. I just try and live in a very clean, very spare way. Oh, yeah! But living your life in a clean and spare way, I mean, this is the rock and roll industry. I mean, you're supposed to smoke and you're supposed to drink and you're supposed to wear really badly fitting trousers. I thought rock and roll is about freedom, man. About doing your own thing, man. Not anymore. I mean, oh, it's never... not? No. Oh, my goodness. The, the rock and roll police have come in and they're, like, telling me I have to be a certain way. Yeah! Freedom for Rollins includes the freedom to write books. Fortunately, his fans have the freedom not to read them. Henry also talks a lot, especially on his global stand-up tour. Like all the rodents, like, <laughs> they dry up. They don't have much moisture. They don't really rot. They just kind of... <laughs> Henry is also something of a film starlet now. He's in The Chase with Charlie Sheen. I feel like a combination of Bruce Springsteen and Sylvester Stallone. And we'll soon be seen in Johnny Mnemonic with fellow hard men Ice-T and the doe-eyed and lovely Keanu Reeves. And do you have Keanu Reeves' phone number at all? Uh, no, I don't. Do you know if he's attached? Uh, I have no idea. Next time he comes to London, why don't you just throw yourself in front of his taxi cab? I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking, thinking about it. Think about it real hard. You might want to get in shape so you can chase the cab. <laughs> so you think I should work out? Well, you know, yeah, I knew it'd he was be gonna better because you might need the strength to kick his hotel room door down and to tear his clothes off because you want to get, you know, to the naughty bits ASAP, right? Am I right or no, am I right? No, definitely, you're right. right. You're very, very, right. very, 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 very right, yes. Okay, so you need strength. Yeah! I say it's nice up here, Kathleen. Welcome to my botanical That's paradise. Marvelous little corner. What do you think about all this keep fit business then? Well, unfortunately, I can't think because according to Henry Rollins, if I don't take care of my body, my mind just goes straight away. Well said, Kathleen. Could be me talking. That's it for this week. Next week, Catelyn is going orienteering with James Brown and his famous flames. And Johnny is test flying the new pan European <laughs> swimming fighter jet with John Bon Jovi and the Sisters of Mercy. I certainly am. But in the meantime, I'm Johnny Vaughan. I'm Catelyn Moran. 